Welcome to the Paperless Productivity Podcast, where we have experts give you the insights, know-how, and resources to help you transform your workplace from paper to digital while making your work life better at the same time. Thanks for joining us. My name is Steve Gliske, your host, and today I'm very excited about our topic, the Highland Cloud. In this episode, we're going to cover specific reasons why so many organizations are moving to the cloud, as well as steps required for getting started. With me to help educate us on all things cloud is our special guest from Highland Software, Amanda Freem, who is Highland's cloud business consultant. Welcome, Amanda. Thank you, happy to be on. Great. Hey, Amanda, you know, many customers listening in have an on-premise type implementation of OnBase. Why should organizations like these consider moving to the Highland Cloud? That is a great question. And there are many reasons. And those will be different and stronger, I should say, for various organizations. But across the board, the value that every customer gets by moving to the Highland Cloud is the expertise and scale and peace of mind. So when a customer moves to the Highland Cloud, they pass on a lot of responsibility that they no longer need to stress over, research, worry about over to the Highland Cloud team. And the big difference is between maybe another vendor, say a public cloud, you're passing it over to experts that have been doing this since 2004 and every little layer that makes up the Highland Cloud is an area of their expertise. So for example, network security. Those individuals understand network security specifically for Highland products, originally for OnBase, and that's what they do every day, day in and day out. They're making sure that we're using the best of breed tools and technologies, methodologies, monitoring the network, making sure it's a lockdown, and then of course, researching for the future to make sure that that is honed and finessed year over year, making the offering better and better. And there's all individual teams and team members that are focused in the various areas. So a a big hitter is of course that expertise, and especially when it comes to security, it's becoming ever more important year over year to have a more secure solution especially in the cloud. And that's a big piece. And then of course, the peace of mind of, of passing it over to those experts. So, you know, what we, we like to think is that, you know, we want businesses to focus on what they're in business for. And this allows you to further do that. On base helps you get there and then passing it over to the Highland Cloud helps you get there even more. You can focus on what you should be focusing on really. So really helps you do that when you're no longer stressing over infrastructure, patching, upgrade, um, testing, monitoring, all of those individual pieces. There's, there's a lot to list, but I would say if I would to summarize it, it's that, that scale that we can reach at Highland and the expertise that, that we have in those areas. So ultimately giving uh, customers peace of mind and the ability to focus on other things. Makes a lot of sense, Amanda. You know, we hear so many stories about data breaches like Equifax, ransomware attacks, taking customers down for an extended period of time. I think it's fair to say that very few organizations have the capacity to properly administrate a system to protect against cyber attacks. And in light of this, how does Highland approach security? Great, great topic. And ultimately, that's at the top of our list. So, and you're right, you know, it's, at the end of the day, there's going to be that small percentage of organizations that maybe do have that know-how, but the gross majority are not going to be able to reach that scale. And, you know, you want the peace of mind that you're not the next Equifax, right? You're not stressing over those pieces. So security is huge. Uh, we could talk about security for literally days, weeks, months, um, but to put it, put it down to a very high level approach. We use the defense in depth approach, which is also referred to as the castle approach. So when you think about both of those, think about layers. So in my castle approach, cheesy metaphor, if you think about an intruder going into enemy territory and they need to get across all these different barriers. So you have a ring of fire, you have a moat, drawbridge, archers that are shooting arrows at the intruder, a thick door 
that you need to get through, all of those present obstacles that are really challenging, making it weaker and weaker and arguably impossible to get to the center. Same deal when it comes to the cloud and the defense in depth castle approach we use. At the outer layer, we have, again, back to those teams that I mentioned that are hyper-focused in individual areas. We have a governance risk and compliance team that works in conjunction with our leadership and they make sure that our policies and procedures are being adhered to and that our policies and procedures are strong and being analyzed every year, they need to be updated, everyone's reading them, training them, and putting them in place. The physical layer, that's, that's a, you know, it's a bit shared across our data centers and, you know, at Highland, any physical aspect of security, we want to make sure that we're using um, fire suppression, we're using things like redundant power, key cards, video surveillance, to name a few examples of physical security. And then you have these other layers where, again, it goes back to those teams that are really focused on securing them. So we have the perimeter, we have the internal network, as I mentioned at the beginning, you know, a network security team, a host layer. At the application layer, um, it's another layer that's a little bit closer, of course, to your solution. And that's an interesting one because it's a bit shared where we do things on our side from the, from the Highland Cloud perspective. But, you know, those on-base customers out there might be thinking like, hey, we already do stuff for security. That doesn't change. So on-base is built to be secure within the software. You still get those layers with the application layer. Um, and we even add more. So when customers move to the cloud, we automatically give them at no cost uh, encrypted from a migration perspective, encrypted disk groups and encrypted alpha keywords. Um, so that's that further layer of protection. And then finally at the data layer, everything that, that's pulled into the Highland Cloud is encrypted. Um, I Again, I could go on longer. That's just an overview of how we approach security in the cloud. And just wanted to call out to our customers listening. Um, if you need anything to review from a security perspective, if you're considering move to the cloud, we have plenty of documentation that we can share from penetration test reports to we have a completed SIG. And we also are registered with CSTAR. Um, we just completed a new assessment this year, actually. So we have a fresh new completed assessment that's on, on the web that you can go ahead and pull down for some light reading um, and learn even more about our security. Excellent. Great to know. Um, you know, so what customers really get, and you say this with the Highland Cloud is peace of mind, knowing that their system is system and data is safeguarded. I appreciate that. Hey, so tell me what happens when a customer moves to the cloud? Do they still pay maintenance? That is a really, that's a good question again. Uh, so customers that move to the Highland Cloud become SaaS customers. So the answer is sort of yes and no. You have that, that same support, it's just pulled into that SaaS fee. And that really is another benefit that I probably should have mentioned when you asked that initial question of moving to the cloud, because everything gets rolled up into that single SaaS line item. And when I say everything, I mean, not only the piece of support, right? You still get the support, you, you have access to your environment, of course, but you also have some, the additional pieces of you know true SaaS, you get you no longer need to worry about patching, as I mentioned. Upgrades, the baseline move to a new release is included. All of that is wrapped up into that single SaaS line item, which helps a lot of our customers we hear from a budgeting perspective. You no longer need to quibble over budget or say, hey, we only have time and revenue aside for this particular project, but we can't do that one. We're, with this, you, you know everything is wrapped up into that single SaaS line item, so it really simplifies things as well for our cloud customers. Fantastic. So the Highland Cloud simplifies that whole budgeting process with a single subscription cost. That's, um, that's terrific. So if customers interested, how do they get moving on this? So the, the first thing I would reach out to your, your account manager and they can get the Highland team looped in and help you through, you know, to understand the process of what it will be to actually migrate, which we have this process honed in um, to the degree that we make it the least disruptive for a customer wanting to move to the cloud. So I do want to call that out. And your, your account manager, account executive can, can help you get the information in more depth on that. But I do want to call out that it's least disruptive and that the process is created so you can keep using your on-premises environment 
uh, without disruption until the very end of, of the process. Um, but really what we're, we're, once you get looped in with your, your team, do an initial review, the we'll loop in the Highland team as needed, do a review of your system. One thing that we really want to make sure as part of the process is to make sure that you are fully aware that of any experience changes, there are some slight differences in experience, of course, moving to the cloud. So we want to make sure you're aware of those, review your solution and module list, make sure that everything is going to operate as you expect it to. And then um, soon, sooner than later, you'll be, you'll be up in the cloud. So um, I would say in, in summary, reach out to your, your account manager and they can get the process rolling. And again, part of that process is making sure you're fully informed of what the actual project will look like and then any differences in experiences. And of course, get you any materials uh, as, as you need to review on your end to make that decision. Got it. So customers really need to do their own due diligence to see if, if making that move to the cloud makes sense for their situation. And, and the best way to get started is, you know, make that call and, and they're going to uh, do an assessment and give them an estimate and even an ROI study. Is that right, Amanda? Exactly. Yes. That's a, that's a, that's a huge component in helping make that, make that call and understand, you know, are we going to get the value, value out of this, out of this move? And we actually have an entire team at Highland that focuses on helping customers make that call and they'll do a review for you, can update the numbers that are unique to your business and, and show you what the difference would be versus staying, staying, you know, status quo, another option or moving, of course, to the Highland Cloud. So great point there. That's certainly something that, that we can do in, in, in helping make that call, make that decision. Great. And then the cost may need to go through the budgeting process. So that could take some time. So if you're interested, they should get started uh, now to get, get all that information. So fantastic. Well, that is going to be the final question for today. Uh, Amanda, thank you so much for your time. It's been a wonderful discussion. And for our listeners, we appreciate you downloading this podcast. Thank you and have a great day. Thanks again for joining us on this podcast. To learn more about ImageSoft, please visit imagesoftinc.com. That's imagesoftinc.com. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to Paperless Productivity where we tackle some of the biggest paper-based pain points facing organizations today. We'll see you next time.